Hey there, and welcome back to some Factorio in Changelessly Discombobulated in our Bob's Angels playthrough here, or Angels Bob's rather. And uh, I've done some thinking and some discussion and read your feedback on episode two, which uh, was really helpful and just really, really good in general. And I've, I've reconsidered some stuff. So first off, there's a few ratio things I'd like to address and uh, correct mistakes that I had made. Uh, I actually made a lot of mistakes last episode. So when I was going through the ratios, I was basing it just purely on the uh, speed of the machines and not taking into account the recipe speed. And that is just, that's a mistake I shouldn't make. Uh, I've played enough Factorio. I think what I think what it is, is I'm getting so flustered and obsessed with the new stuff that I'm like forgetting the basic mechanics of the game and what I've learned and what I know. So this one has a craft speed of 1.5 and this one has a craft speed of 0.75. And that's where I was getting the four to eight ratio. But we have to take into consideration the recipes they're doing. So this guy um, takes one second normally and gives us two uh, blue cheese, crushed blue cheese. Um, so if we take that into account, um, and remember this is a craft speed of 1.5, we take one and divide it by 1.5, which means that this actually happens every 0.66, repeating, uh, 0.6 seconds, okay? And it gives us two, okay? So every 0.6 seconds we get two. And then this one actually takes four and it, it takes one second, but the craft speed is 0.75, right? So if we take one and divide it by 0.75, that means that this cycle, this uh, recipe takes 1.3 repeating seconds in here, which is exactly double this. So it's actually um, a one-to-one, -one, right? Because uh, this takes twice as long as this guy and requires twice as many materials. Um, or twice the amount that this is producing. So essentially in 1.33 seconds, this is giving us four because it's done two processes. And um, in that time, we've done one of these, which needs four. So this is actually a one-to-one. -one. So that's why I've changed this. I've also changed the direction. And then I've been looking into this and uh, we haven't done copper smelting for this yet, like unlocked this, so that's what we're doing now. And I was looking at this and doing some more math. Don't worry, we're actually gonna build. This is the last, last math thing I'm gonna go over right now. Um, and this, essentially sums up to like actually my ratio of four to three which is completely wrong um it's like four to one i believe so if we just go through this together here this gives us two iron every uh 1.33 seconds right this requires 24 iron every four seconds so a different way to look at this the way i like to look at these ratios it kind of makes it for me it it helps my brain think through it clearer is that um, this gives us two per cycle, regardless of the time. It gives us two per cycle. This needs 24. So this essentially has to go through 12 cycles um, to get us the amount we need for this, right? 12 times two is 24. Um, so then now we take into account the craft speed. And if we look at this and we say, well, we know that this takes 1.3 seconds to do, and we need 12 cycles to get what we need. We multiply 1.3 times 12, which is 15.96. We'll just round up to 16. So it takes 16 seconds for this to do 12 recipe cycles. Um, however, this only takes four seconds to consume those 12 cycles worth of materials. So we then take 16 and divide it by four, which is four. So that means that we actually need four of these guys supplying one of these guys, which is pretty ridiculous um, in regards to like the size that this is gonna have to be. Uh, I think I was warned about that, but. <laughs> Um, so we, we take these and then we need to do something with them, which I've completely forgotten. So we're going to use our handy uh, search team and do thing here. And uh, we take this and then this goes into uh, to, 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 to something uh, that, that, that's not that's not what I want. Um, OK, that's actually just not at all what I want. I want this, I think. Right. Yeah. So we then take this and we turn it into molten iron in an in induction furnace, which hopefully we've unlocked, which we have indeed. So let's grab one of those. And uh, it takes this is becomes a one to one. So with the 24 we get from here, um, this can give us 240 molten iron. And then we take the molten iron and turn it into iron plate. And this is also one to one or not one to well one it's it's like one to ten but 
I think you see what I mean, hopefully. So from 240, we get 24 iron plate. So this all becomes a one-to-one. -one. From 24 iron ore, we get 24 iron plate. Uh, essentially just like vanilla smelting except a heck of a lot more complicated but it's still way better than the like three to two ratio we were getting um with that smelting so with that in mind we apparently need it really we need to fuel this are you nuts are you kidding me i did not take that into account okay so I'm, this is not where it's going but i'm just planning this out so he does that and uh this spits it out here and then this needs to go into a uh, other thingy. I would imagine a casting machine. And then um, now is this? Thank God, <laughs> we've been blessed. This is uh, th this is all still one to one, to one machine wise too, because this takes the same amount of time as is. Uh... Oh wait, no, it's not. No, no, don't get ahead of yourself. This gives us 24 and four seconds, and this only consumes 12 and four seconds. So this can actually support two of these dudes which means we need another one of them. And then this, uh, holy hell. Uh, I guess it just has three different ways to do it. Um, and then this consumes 40 in four seconds, which means that it goes back to one. So it's essentially one to two to one, which is kind of wonky if you ask me. Oh wait, no, 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 no. This is a one to two from this one to this one, but this takes 40 in four seconds, but this gives us 120 in four seconds. So this is actually a one to three, right? One of these can support three of these. So it's one to two to three, which means that if I have one of these and two of these, we actually need six of these, which is a bit nuts. But that'll give us a lot of iron. Um, and then also, uh, now that we're actually going to build, don't worry, I promise we're going to build like right now. So. I was debating last episode, if you remember, like how to get rid of this stuff. Uh, there were comments and such very, very helpful about the metal mixing furnace. So let's make some of these. What you can do with these dudes is you can set the recipe. They're a furnace, but you can set the recipe. And of course, we're going to be doing the iron, the iron. Well, actually, I have a different plan. This is still a pain, though, because since this is a four to one, I can't like directly insert. Can I? Actually, hold on. Might be changing our plans again. Check this out. Okay, that's what we're doing. <laughs> uh, because by directly inserting, with setting a recipe here, the inserters will kind of filter themselves, right? By only putting in what they need to put in. Um, whereas without filter inserters, it would still be wonky because I still want to, I don't really want to make the plate the normal way since uh, copper's almost done anyways. So I, I think, I think we're going to do this. So <clears throat> this is going to, this all needs to change. I don't know how many times I've torn up this belt. My inventory is just full of this blue cheese stuff. I think I like blue cheese and now I'm hungry. All right. So let's, uh, let's take these. So if we, if we just actually just do that like that, set him in between, it's not going to be centered. I really want this to be centered. It's gonna drive me nuts. I probably have to get over this as the playthrough goes on, because uh, there's no way everything's gonna be able to be symmetrical and centered, I don't think, uh, but we'll see. So if we do something like that, set this to do this. Oh, that's not what I want. Do this. I'm not sure how like the copper is gonna have to so somehow go somewhere and do something. Um, is there like a way to make it so the copper could also be done here? I don't really think so. Yeah, not really. Okay, so if we take that and then we take these guys um, and make sure to set this to iron, this guy to iron, it's only gonna take the iron out into here. So then we're left with copper and slag. And what we do with that um, becomes a whole nother question uh, because the copper needs to go um, to another area similar to this. And we can't really do direct insertion. I'd like to do direct insertion. It's gonna, because then we're gonna have to like share because this recipe, because then, hmm. And then this changes for copper too. 
Is copper the same, like, ratios here? Oh, it is. Okay, and we only get one copper from this, but you you can do copper, uh, copper processing, I thought. Yeah, this one from the stereotype. So if we did that, we'd still have this extra copper, which, you know, it'd be tempting for the ease of stuff to like, because this gives us one copper, is to have another set of these and do, so have another set of this doing exactly the same thing and then have the copper from all of these go to equal one copper thing because we get half as much if that makes any sense whatsoever um so like if we were to set this up for example to do something like this i can already like feel you guys yelling at me all right so if if he did copper once we're able to do that then we would need to export the copper from these two and then once I really wish can we oh we can make splitters I forgot I'd gotten that sweet uh, oh and then someone else had said that there is a way to toggle some of the like what the graphics look like for the shiny bobs thing I think I may do that um, so this is gonna export copper uh, right yeah <laughs> sure it's gonna export copper and then He's gonna go like this, and it's gonna be a complete mess, but it's gonna be it's gonna be great. We need a lot more belt. I'm running out of iron. In fact, we need iron like now. I'm not gonna have enough belt. Alright, let's uh let's do this. I think we should just turn this on and figure out what to do with the copper later, because I need iron to make belt. So we're gonna Take you, in fact, really, well, the problem is, though, is we don't want these grabbing the, th that's the annoying thing, is we, actually, this can just go in the, oh, wait, no, it can't, crap. Um, we, we don't want this grabbing the iron and sticking it in the box, which it may be liable to do. Uh, we'll, we'll have to find out here. So let's throw some power on this out of wood. Cool. Well, that kind of has to go there. This is not gonna look good. Hope you guys aren't expecting this to look great because it's not gonna look good. <laughs> okay, so all this is power. This uh, dude needs fuel. This needs to be doing something. Um, some inserters to actually like grab the materials would probably be really helpful. Um, can I get, I need some wood. Let, let's, let's go chop some trees. So I'm probably gonna change this, change this yet again. Uh, the, but that's to be expected. Like everyone I've talked to has said, uh, you're just gonna end up changing your setup like five or six times. We're on what, like the fourth? <laughs> so probably several more to go. Um, but so far, this seems at least, at least I think my ratios are correct for the time being. Um, it's just a matter of what to do with the stuff because that that's where it becomes a bit of a issue. Um, we actually have like a bajillion of this. Just stick this in here. Okay, so he's doing that, and it's gonna stick, of course, iron ore in here, which is exactly what I didn't want. It's wonderful. Um, so then this becomes a one to something with the something. This becomes a one to two, which, and then that induction furnace, is that, is that what I was doing? Holy jeez. We need some different power pull arrangements, that is for sure. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know, guys. I'm, my brain is melting like as we speak. Um, this is actually too far away. Oh my goodness, the headache here is real. All right, let's let let let, let let's let's connect. Let's do that. So he makes the stuff out of the stuff, and we'll probably need like way more inserters in this. And then this stuff turns this into some more uh, goop, which we then need to make out of this. And we can't do that because we don't have enough iron to make these stuff to make iron. So that's cool. These are some, I love these graphics though. Like, it's just so cool, some of these graphics. Um, admittedly, that's part of the reason I wanted to play this to, from the get go, but uh, we could just, well, no, cause we do need, what, what did I say? Three of these things? 
So if we uh, do something, some, uh, something like that, I think, no. Oh my goodness. That is not at all what I wanted. How? Fine. <laughs> Fine, we'll just do that. And we need pipe, which I probably can't make any of. Um, I can make copper pipe. Let's just do copper pipe. At this point, it doesn't really matter to me. Ooh, kind of nice looking there. Copper pipe with iron in it. Totally works. So then these things are gonna make the plate from the stuff. And now we have iron plate. Of course, it's, sti it's still sticking the iron in here, which is not good. Um, once this actually runs, it shouldn't because all the iron should be used up. Um, although this is still like we're still missing stuff. So I'm gonna have to kind of micromanage this a little bit um, But we now have plate to actually make more stuff, which is really nice And then we just need three of these which is gonna take like ten years But that'll be fine and copper has just completely stopped this the research Probably because we don't have any iron would be my guess. Yep, that would be why and I mean we'll, we'll be getting iron. It's just gonna be a little bit slow Is this not a one to three? Let, hold, hold on. Hold on a minute. Get 120 every four seconds. Each one of these uses 40 every four seconds. So why then, I ask? Oh, we just need like a metric ton of inserters. It's kind of what <laughs> the gist I'm getting from this is we just need a ton of inserters for this to actually work properly. We need some fast. We can actually make fast. Why am I? We, we need to, to. Oh, we can't. Right. Because we need the stupid circuit boards, which I haven't made yet. I'm still debating how to make the wood. We should probably get some greenhouses going. Did I research that yet? Did, did I research greenhouses? I don't think so. Maybe I did. No, nope. we'll need that next. I know you can get it from angel stuff, but I don't think we have stuff required. Like the angel stuff, you can get it. I think from like uh, brown, you can just make the wooden board straight up from the uh, cellulose fiber and alginic acid. Alginic acid is super easy because that just needs brown algae, which just needs saline water, which is just water from one of these things. Um, but it gets more complicated because you need the fiber, which is from green algae, and the green algae requires mineralized water, which you get from water and stone, which would actually be a really good use for a stone now that I'm thinking about it. Actually, this may not be as complicated as I had thought. Um, and then carbon dioxide, which you just get from coal in one of the liquefiers. Uh, but we don't, we don't have the, uh, the, 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 this, this yet, this thing, <laughs> the, the green looking thing. Um, so we have iron though, luckily, and I need a bunch more inserters. Well, this is not going to work yet, but Oh my goodness, we have no copper. What What is going on here? Copper ore, I mean, we could just straight up vanilla smelt the copper ore. Like, in fact, well, the copper, the copper thing's almost done. I'm not sure how we're gonna get the copper out without taking the slag out, because I don't think we can like, can we do anything with the slag right now? This slag is starting to become a real pain. That's, that's how you get slag. I want to know what you can do. Oh, we can just make more stone. Well, why don't we do that? We could we could make stone, and then we could turn the... Really? What? Yeah, why don't we do that? Because we can make the stone and then turn the stone into brick. What, we, what we're trying to achieve here is, like, is a way to just empty the stuff out without it all mixing up without filter inserters. Um, I believe we have iron like out the ying right now, so I don't really have an, any idea why what, what's happening, but <laughs> it's fine. Uh, let's uh, let's let's go ahead and like underground somehow. This, this plan is not going to work. I need I need longer undergrounds for this. Actually, it should be fine, right? These were spaced like two off or something. Oh dear. Okay. Well, yeah. Sure. Let Let's just Let's just do that. Kill the power in the process. That seems like a good idea. And then something like that. 
and the thing is in the way. Um, new plan. Let's go ahead and underground to there and to there and then from here like really like this i mean we're making progress i think i mean i think we're making pretty good progress i hope you guys enjoy and are enjoying and are okay with the progress like the rate that we're going here this looks like crap but that's fine like i'm i am literally going to put myself into like a mental hospital if i actually try to make everything look pretty while trying to figure out all these damn recipes so we're gonna we're just gonna forgo the good looking part of this equation and uh hope hope for the best here so did i not make more inserty things i feel like this is gonna be a playthrough where i just don't call anything by its proper name because it's gonna get way too complicated uh so we've done that the copper the 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 what is this made into slag from? Isn't this made into... Yeah, I think the the stone... Okay, yeah, so we can make stone in it from the slag into the, one of those. So that's gonna grab that, and then the copper we'll just do something with. Um, and this has no stuff because we never actually gave it an input. And I don't know why I'm sending this here. This is not where this goes. Like, at all. I, I, why did I send that there? Um, okay, so if we have, because I, I think iron demand is still going to be a little higher than copper demand at the moment. I could be wrong. I know all the, like everything changes with this mod, but I kind of get the feeling the iron demand is still going to be higher than copper. So I feel like the plan of using this recipe like doubled and then to just do like half the coppers we do iron is going to be better at the moment at least than trying to get this ore from way the hell over here and doing the whole thing over again with a different setup. I think it's gonna be okay for now. Um, so this gets this from, sure, why, why don't we just say right there? And then, and then, and then, yeah, well then that's, <laughs> that's where my plan ends is right there. Um, this could come, uh, that's gonna be pretty busy in here. I'm not sure we really want to do it that way. Okay, let's 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 just not do that, and then let's do. I don't know. We'll do something with this. We could actually just run it like we could get super wonky. That's not what I wanted. Do something like that. Although this is super uneven. Like if if I'm gonna split it, I need. Oh, that already supplies. No, I'm good. Right? Yeah, I'm good. We're, we're fine. All right, so he's going to come over here. Just stick it kind of in the corner here somewhere that um, is not going to be in the way of, like, our exportation of stuff. So let's go ahead and pick that up. Do that. Um, he's going to do his doohickey. And then this is going to do this again. And we're going to have the whole process over again. And I can already see this getting very absurd very quickly so we then need more inserters because okay let's just let go, go away just stop stop what you're doing you need to put the stop it uh we need a crusher you know because let's just slam everything in here as close as we can possibly get it um that's gonna make that and then this is gonna take <laughs> i don't know how we're supposed to export from here i guess out this back end or something um, this is going to take the crushed stone and put it in an assembler, right? Make stone, right? I mean, we could just box up the crushed stone, like, let's just box up the crushed stone. For now, we'll do something with it. Uh, maybe that's how we'll get, like, saline water. Like, we'll put it on a belt, maybe, and stick it in there. Um, that, that should hold a bit. So, do that. Let's, uh, get rid of this wonky thing and then do a similar type of deal. A little bit of a change of plans here. Tear that up. I want this to somewhat match. So we'll just move this underground a little bit like that. And then this guy is going to do that. You're gonna do that. And then we'll just box you, box you one up like so. 
And then we somehow need to get the copper out of here, which is just gonna be... Well, long, it's only one copper, actually, right? Yeah, it's only one copper. So longhand inserters would actually work pretty darn good here. Um, and that's gonna do its thing. And this is gonna set to copy, paste, to that. Uh, what was the ratio? So if we want to run eight of these, we're actually gonna need eight of these, which introduces a whole nother problem. Because I think we're, we're doing some sort of very temporary wonky solution for this stuff. I think we're just boxing like metric tons of stone, which is okay. I mean, we'll use it to make walls and, and whatnot, but it should, it should be fine. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with, at least we have iron, all right? <laughs> at least we have iron being made in some form. I'm really enjoying the, the process though, like the, I'm glad I decided to focus on the metallurgy part because this is actually really, it is annoying as it is in some regards. This is actually really fun. Like setting this up and just watching the machines work and stuff. It's, it's really, really cool. So he's gonna go like that. And this is gonna make iron. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the copper and we're gonna take the copper and put it somewhere. I, I don't know, I, I have no idea where. Maybe like down here somewhere. We'll just export the copper, send it all the way down here, and then do the same type of deal, but just with one um, uh, blast furnace instead of the two. And then we'll just have a one to two ratio of iron to copper, and we'll see how that works. You know, if we need more copper, then we'll do uh, maybe like uh, do the other recipe with the whatever the hell this is, ice stuff, um, to, to get more copper. But we need some way to get rid of the copper net. We could just smelt it. Like, I know we, I, I made the blast furnace. Like, we could just smelt it here. Which is really tempting, actually. <laughs> we could just smelt it here. Um, I really want to do the metallurgy part, though. If this ever finishes. Why is this not working? Oh, now we're out of copper. Jeez. Out of iron soon too. That should finish it. What are you doing? I don't know. Um, I mean, really, we could just make the copper here, but once we unlock this, we won't need to. I I'm gonna go with my plan. All right. It's probably not gonna work. We'll find out together. But I think it's gonna be good. So then we just need more more of these. I need like some mechanism. So here's a suggestion. Out of all the crazy stuff that uh, Bob's and Angels adds. It would be great if there's some like equipment thing or something that would allow you to craft multiple items at once. Like instead of like this, I could be crafting like an ore crusher and inserters at the same time or something. I don't know. I mean, that would probably be really OP, but. Um, yeah, we'll just do that. He's going to go like that. And then this could just run under here. We will have to obviously expand our setup um, in regards to like, oh, that's not, that's not gonna work. Stuff has to go right here. What am I trying to, what am I doing? This has to go right there. And I'm just short, I just don't have, this is gonna be like impossible to run through. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, so two more of those. These guys should have been making something, right? Oh yeah, tons of iron. And this is done. Sweet. Next thing is gonna be this junk. Unless there's something I need that's more pressing. Uh, we are gonna have to figure out a way to make the solder, but that can be done in some other, that can be done in some other way. But, Cause I was heading towards the like solder from the metallurgy. I don't think we're gonna quite get there yet. So we'll just have to do, now that I know about the blast furnace thing, um, we can't just make lead and tin just straight from crushed Bob stuff and Rubite stuff. So I think that's gonna be the way to go. Um, this is stop because of course there is no copper output. We're gonna have to send somewhere. Um, I think I was clearing this area. And then all the copper from here, which means like we, like all the copper from here, so we don't even need um, sorting down here. Like I said, this is probably gonna change again. 
And it's going to be very temporary. You know, I should space this in case we do need some sort of sorting down here. Uh, whatever, we'll just move it later. Um, so you're going to do that. And then, that, so that's going to grab copper. And then we need these guys over here. Like so. Boom, that actually exports. So does this, and we now realize that we actually need like four per. Which I happen to have just enough for that. Let's make some more, and we'll just power pull this guy up however we can. Uh, this needs to just not be doing that, that direction, because <laughs> there's no way we're gonna get the stuff out of there. Um, and I gave this coal, this actually seems extremely efficient with its coal burning. So that's really good news. I don't know how we're supposed to get fuel in here, Actually, we could just underground fuel straight through here. That's actually a really good idea. Let's uh, take this up. And uh, I feel like I'm going to be needing those inventory upgrades here pretty soon. Uh, but that's going to export something rather this way. Um, in fact, why don't we why don't why don't we line this guy up? Stick it like there. Move you. That's great. Okay, um, do that. You're gonna make stone, and then you are gonna put the stone in a box. Because that's all we can do with it right now. I mean, I could make it into stone stone, but that just gets a little bit big. Um, and then, the copper is gonna go out this way. Right? Yeah, sure, why not? And then it's gonna have to go... Actually, I, I can, I can kind of see this in my head now. It's actually working out so far better than I thought it would so far so far is the keyword just wait until this just stops working like when this numb nuts what are you doing man you're not supposed to put iron on the belt that's not what you do why is what is wrong with putting the iron in here yo are you really gonna do this right now son of a <laughs> damn it um okay fine okay you wanna you wanna play you, you want to do that i'm gonna beat this mod to do exactly what i wanted to do and you are just gonna have to eat it there you go try exporting iron now yeah that's right you can't actually having a buffer there probably is just a good idea in general whoa all right i can't filter these fucking chests um how do I... Can I just... Could you just... Could Just stop. Just don't do that. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be like impossible. How am I supposed to do this? <laughs> this is so annoying. I want my damn filter inserters. Uh, okay, so... Uh, right. Of course we have iron on here. It's exporting faster than this, right? So this is soon not going to be a workable solution. Um, I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure something out. Uh, hopefully you guys will have some good ideas because this is going to drive me absolutely insane. Um, okay, so you can do that. You can do that. This can actually merge. This could have gone out that way, but it's fine. You're just going to side load. Because you can do that, which is awesome. And then, oh, might want to power this on. And put this somewhere that's actually going to be more useful than that. So do that, and then this guy is going to come. Um, what, where was this going? <laughs> I don't remember, where was this supposed to go? This was supposed to go, like, under this or something. We'll figure that out later. This one needs to export out here into a box. And I need to end this episode, but I really want to get this done. Otherwise, I'm going to probably lose my train of thought. Stick 100 in there. The problem is this is actually like exporting this faster than it's being made, which means that this um, reserve slot is going to go away and then it's going to start exporting iron again like a dummy. Don't, don't want that that close. In fact, why am I doing that? This could just... Yeah, this could just uh, just come over here somehow. It's actually going to need to move farther down, I think. Uh, yeah, let's just put it, like, down there. I'm going to need more belt. So then this is going to have to come out, and then something... Actually, if we get, like, really sneaky, I think we could do this. 
we get like super sneaky with our uh, undergrounds here. This could uh, come. I don't know how it's gonna go onto a, into a box first. So I can I can <laughs> I know it. I know somebody is thinking or is gonna say like. This is when adjustable inserters would be great, so it could like export out this in and then act, like from this side and then stick to the left. Like I said, I'm only going to use them when I actually hit a point when I can't do it any other way. If that means building something that looks god awful, then that's what it means. Uh, okay, so you're going to do that, and then this actually needs to export out into a stone crusher. Fine. I can find the damn thing. Okay, so a few things need to move over apparently. This needs to move. Like that. You're going to crush the stone and then you're going to put the stone into another box. Boom. It can be uncapped. It's fine. Screw you. Um, and then more inserters, please. This could actually just be done without a long-handed inserter. Oh, that's actually perfect. Oh, sweet. That's that's totally perfect because then what we can do is stick that in like that and then he can export in the angle I want, which is going to be here. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Like, what, what side does this export on? This exports on the close side, which is unfortunate, but we do have splitters, so we can just merge this uh, down into one or I could just be smart and sideload it and not have to waste a splitter. And then there we go. So then this copper is going to come down to here, and I'm going to end this episode, I promise you, if I just want to get the belt over here. Oh my gosh, this rock. Alright, uh, oh, whoa, what, what, what did we do? Geodes? We get geodes from rocks? What the hell are we supposed to, angels refining? Oh my goodness, alright, well, that's pretty cool. And I'm going to end it there. We're going to figure it out. So there you go, guys. That's a setup. Uh, we obviously don't have automated exportation of the iron yet, but it is being made, thank goodness. And uh, hopefully things will go well uh, from this point forward. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, so finally, we did finish that process, and then we just need this process, and we will be uh, in pretty darn good shape, I would say. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and are uh, continuing to enjoy and look forward to the next episode as much as I am. I'm really actually having a lot of fun here, aside from the occasional frustrations. And uh, leave any thoughts or suggestions, anything you have in the comments. Like I said, I've been reading them, and they've been really, really helpful and insightful and stuff. But uh, that's going to do it. Until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.